This looks friggin' awesome. Weapons down, gentlemen. We're not trying to scare anybody here. These supplies will buy us a lot of goodwill from the rebels. Let me check this spot oh, out wow, for this intel. Amazing. I'll drive. with a submachine gun. You Tell can execute where. him over by that stack of tires. Easy. Come in. Talk, motherfucker. Chill the fuck out, way. I'm talking, all right? is up. Target spotted. I got a third target. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. As you just saw, that was Ghost Recon Wildlands first person mode, or with the first person mod, rather. It's very easy to install. So if you like what you saw and you want to install it yourselves and you have this game, then uh, I highly suggest you install it. It really, really makes the game very immersive. I've been playing it for a while and uh, it's it works good for the most part. Uh, the only thing that feels a little off or awkward is when you're driving because you constantly have to use your right stick to realign your view and it just doesn't feel very natural to me so but besides that um i'm sure skilled players out there can acclimate and really get used to that all right so uh yeah without further ado let's get it started uh ghost recon wildlands first person mod i have the window here already in this tab all you want to do is you want to go to nexusmods.com uh, select uh, search the search bar and search out make sure it says 
games though select games and type in ghost recon wildlands you'll find it so i'm here already and it's actually one of the first mods that pops up there's not a lot of mods on there for some reason but this is one of the top mods and you want to you want to go to the mod and go to the file section there are two different ones there's first person mod the cheat engine version which i don't recommend i have cheat engine but for some reason my antivirus software keeps warning me that it's some kind of virus or some kind of like trojan or something like that and uh, even my my malware bite says the same thing but i know it's not i never had a problem with it but it's just it's not that easy to use as with the exe the exe you just replace the files so uh let me not get into that just download trust me just download the exe version download that wait till it downloads it's about 160 161 megabytes give or take uh depending on your internet speed uh it will uh, affect how fast it gets downloaded and also if you're a paying member for nexus mods i suggest you become a paying member and no i'm not you know being paid by them or endorsed or anything like that but i just think you know i'm a modder so i, I like modding shit and it's i'm on here a lot so i think it's worth the measly five dollars a month and you can also pay for a lifetime uh, membership which is about 50 60 dollars whatever it's the price of a game right but you get so much more like replay uh with these mods depends if you like installing mods or not for me i like to do that so all right uh with anyways on to the next thing uh close out the window uh here is the fresh mod right here my suggestion is open up a new folder right click on your desktop select new folder don't even bother naming it you can if you want but you don't really have to and unzip it you're going to need 7-zip or winrar i have 7-zip it's very easy to install you just install it install it onto your program files and that's it it's it's automatic and then you you should have uh a, a, an option to open up zip files like this right click and extract here meaning inside the folder after that's extracted just erase the actual zip file and voila it is right here and there are three files that you need from this don't worry about the dll source just worry about these two anti-cheat files uh the easy anti-cheat 64 and the easy anti-cheat 86.dll and the ghost recon wildlands exe so what you're going to want to do is next you want to let me minimize this for a second you want to go into your ghost recon wildlands folder my i have the steam version i don't know how it's going to work if you have it on epic or um or any other platform i'm sure the process is similar but don't quote me i don't know if it works i know or, or works on other platforms i know for a fact it does work on wildlands so uh for those of you who are not quite computer savvy like i used to be you just right click on the game and go to properties and then you're going to want to go to local files and i installed mine on my h drive and it should be right here here is the main folder all right easy anti-cheat the folder is right here and one more thing i want to mention just in case because by default, I don't think these boxes are checked. You're going to want to have file name extensions checked so it's visible and hidden items. So with that checked, you can therefore see the .dll or .exe so you know what kind of file you're working with. So that's very important. Make sure you have those boxes checked. And you're going to want to take care of these two files. What I suggest you do is click on each one make a new folder and call it i don't know here i have one already for myself ghost recon backup files these are the original files so you want to click and drag over over each one 
See, these these are my original backup files, so I don't want to mess around. But it, you know, it's self self explanatory, right? And you want to do the same thing with the Ghost Recon Wildlands EXE file. Click and oops, it's highlighting all that. No, don't do that. Okay, click and drag it over, and just you know overwrite it. Or if it's if it's an empty folder, just click and drag it over, and that's it. So these are your backup original files. And then you want to go into the new folder where these are the freshly uh, modified files. So the first person model will work. You just want to click on to the Ghost Recon and copy it over to Wildlands. And, uh, you know, I don't really need to do it because I have it already. But yeah, when it says overwrite, you just overwrite it. I have it already, so I'm not going to bother. go into easy anti-cheat 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 and you want to do the same thing uh, highlight both of them and click over and just you're just replacing those files and that's it it's uh it's really easy very 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 easy okay uh i'll see you in a bit we're gonna see if it works which i know it does because uh, i just tested it out but we're going to try anyways, and I'll show you um, how it looks, and I'll have a no commentary extended gameplay. I'll play for about maybe like 15, 20 minutes. Uh, and yeah, that's it. So remember, guys, if you enjoy my videos and my tutorials are helpful, please leave a like and please consider subscribing and also check the notifications so you shall be notified as to when i upload my next videos all right i'll see you in a bit bye bye all right well welcome back and as you can see the mod seems to be working so keep those weapons it's quite easy seems to be working smoothly although i had to lower the rendering resolution down to like 80 or 70 percent 70 i think 70 percent because i have a very weak gpu but you definitely you gotta admit though i mean this game came out what 2014 2015 and uh yeah it still holds up pretty well so yeah Here's the mod, and I'll play for a little bit to showcase some of the gameplay. All right. I'll talk to you in the outro. I'll drive. Ready. Call the shot. Man, y'all never let me drive anymore. Just because that one time. Ready? Open fire. Stop shooting these fuckers. Holy crap! Ready? Fire, fire, fire. Copy. Weapons free, weapons free.
Max. We're still good. See no reason to waste round. Marche. You got no idea what I'm capable of. I got you, Vato. Just don't tell nobody where you heard this shit. No reason why those supplies ought to go to the cartel. We can steal that cargo plane and hand the gear over to the rebels instead. Works for me. Let's go. Spotted one with submachine guns. Well, there you have it guys, just a brief demonstration of the first person mod. Seems to be working well. Uh, in my personal opinion, it does have, add a bit of immersion to the gameplay, but the vehicle handling is very hard for me. And the fact that when I use a drone, I'm not able to highlight enemies and have my teammates uh, shoot the enemies after I sink is it's a bit disappointing um, you really used to playing that game that way for hardcore wildlands players it probably won't be a problem for you guys but you know I'm not really that good at this game I kind of suck to be honest <laughs> but uh, yeah uh, the traditional third person ways are what I'm used to and I just wish maybe some of the elements can be combined where you're able to do everything you can do in the third person, but, you know, in the first. Better vehicle handling and the um, sink and kill with tagged enemies. 
But all right, there you have it. I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, drop a like and let me know in the comments if you want me to make more gameplay videos. I'm going to try to get Reshade installed onto this so I can play with the VR headset and in full 3D. But that's going to be a huge problem because I've been trying for a couple days and the reshade doesn't seem to be working. So it's a bit disappointing. It, this game is perfect. Definitely perfect for that. If I had that option, I would probably play the game that way. And I'd probably invest a lot of hours replaying this game. All right. So take care, everybody. And I'll see you all in the next video. Bye-bye.